There are many people in this country who think the situation in Palestine is so far away that it has little to do with us. It might be tempting to think that we have enough domestic issues right here at home, that it is someone else's task to address the rights of Palestinians halfway around the world. But I know from my own personal story in this country that we cannot talk about justice without addressing the displacement of native peoples wherever they are. We cannot talk about justice without addressing the systemic racism of colonialism. We cannot talk about justice without addressing government repression. We cannot talk about justice without addressing our own divisions, even within the movement. Our search, our search for truth and for justice cannot be found in a narrow tribalism. In so many ways, the Palestinian experience resonates with my own experience. So I'm here today to talk about what's required if we are to be, from a deeply religious moral values perspective, human in the midst of the shared injustices we have all inherited from the lives of colonialism and white supremacy. My coming here today is deeply religious, which means it's deeply political, because for me, I do not separate my deep moral values from my faith. As a Christian minister who was raised in the often schizophrenic American church, I grew up knowing that the way some people talked about God's people and a divine right to any land didn't include me. I didn't grow up anywhere close to Israel or Palestine, but they weren't including me. The slave masters who saw my black ancestors as property also saw my native ancestors as savages. They said it was their manifest destiny. They believed to subdue the land that was promised to them, no matter who was already there. To claim it, to control it, to confront anyone who challenged them with the threat of lethal force. It must be noted that the same colonialist mindset that enslaved black bodies and called it Christian also has been used by some to displace Palestinian families and call it pro-Israel. But based on the, even the ancient Hebrew scriptures, this cannot be true. Leviticus 19.34 says, you shall treat the stranger who sojourns with you as the native among you. You shall love him or them as yourself. Leviticus 24.22, you shall have the same law and equality for the sojourner and the native. For I am the Lord your God who honors and loves all creation. 